British weather is a very funny thing. All we ever seem to get is lots of rain, hail, snow and wind, which is pretty much why it's very important that we can gather as much of this weather data as we can so that we can better predict the weather, since we all know how changeable British weather can be. One minute you've got a bit of sun, then suddenly a hailstorm kicks in, the wind blows down your shed, or the rain just makes everything difficult. Now, there is a simple device that you see a lot of British people carrying, an umbrella. But I kind of find umbrellas a bit boring, and they could be of use. So in this Gentleman Maker episode, we're going to add a bit of interest to our umbrella, the Smart Umbrella. An umbrella with a weather station built in. So for this project you will need a particle photon, one preferably without the headers, a DHT11 sensor, an Adafruit barometric pressure sensor, a low inertia solar motor, that will be used for the wind measurement, a small piece of strip board, one 10k ohm resistor, mine came with the DHT11 sensor, one 5.6k ohm resistor, two 1k ohm resistors, a 7805 regulator, one 100 nanofarad capacitor, one 100 microfarad capacitor, various wires and connectors, material for making the anemometer, I used some 3D printed parts, a power source for the project, I'm using a 9 volt battery, and you'll need some glue for putting this whole project together. Now the umbrella in this project should be the one with the push button variety such that when you push this button, the whole whoop, so easy, the whole thing opens up. Oh wow, that's gone all over the place. Ah. As you all know, all the parts in this project are available from DigiKey, a link in the description below. So here we have the schemic schematic for the smart umbrella. We have the 9 volt battery source which is connected to the 7805 regulator circuit and this provides the 5 volts needed to power the photon. We also have a barometric sensor connected to I2C to the photon and we also have the DHT11 which uses its single wire interface with the photon. A breadboard rain sensor is used to detect the presence of rain but not measure the quantity of rain. That's very important. In order to measure rainfall, you need to know how much has actually fallen. And we have the solar motor which detects wind speed and sends it to an analog input. So here we have the particle build code and we include several libraries including the Adafruit MPL3115A2 library and that is for the pressure sensor. We have the Adafruit DHT library, which is used for the DHT11 sensor. And we also include the Adafruit IO particle library. The initial section of code declares some objects and some feeds, including the barometric object, the Adafruit IO client object, and the feeds, pressure, temperature, humidity, wind speed, and rainfall. The setup code is very simple. The first line of code simply initiates the I2C library while the serial begin line allows us to debug if we need to. We configure both A0 and A1 pins as inputs for the analog read, and this while loop here is used to detect the barometric sensor. Then the last line of the setup code is to simply initiate the AIO client object. The main loop of code starts by gathering all the data from the different sensors. Then all this data is sent to Adafruit.io and the last line is a simple delay to make sure that we don't send too much data too quickly. So here are all the electrical parts for our smart umbrella. We have the anemometer, try saying that one quite quickly, and this measures the wind speed using a low inertia solar motor. We have a rain sensor that's made from a, a bit of strip board and essentially I've soldered all the uh, parts and all the traces together to try and make a sort of meandering snake pattern. So a raindrop that goes between two sort of traces will uh, allow the photon to detect that. We have the power module consisting of the 7805 5 volt regulator and this provides the 5 volt to power the photon. And then something I don't normally do, the photon board with all of the parts sort of glued together to make a very small module and you can actually see why I've chosen the photon without the headers. This allows for a very, very small profile so I can fit this into the umbrella quite easily. 
we have the DHT11 sensor glued to the side, and underneath the DHT11, the barometric pressure sensor, or the barometric atmospheric pressure, whatever you want to call it. And all of the wiring, including the resistors, have also been glued to the bottom. So all in all, it's actually a very small profile. Now, the reason why I haven't attached these parts just yet is because these ones go on the outside, whereas this goes on the inside of the umbrella. So with all that done, it is time to put it together to make the final product. Yeah, that works. 